in handling uh, rational uh, inequalities. So it's rational because it's a fraction with an x in the denominator, and it's an inequality because you have a less than symbol or an inequality symbol. And uh, the, the, the idea here is that there's not just one answer for x. There's a whole bunch of answers. What are the numbers that you can plug in? That's, this is what the answer is going to be. How, what, what numbers can you plug in for x that makes this side less than or equal to 8? So there's a whole bunch of numbers that would work here. All right, but the key to these uh, rational inequalities is that you need to figure out... Um, your restriction, if I could spell, you find out your restriction. So in this case, what value gives you a, a zero in the denominator? That's what I'm asking, that's what I'm talking about when I say restriction. So uh, you take the bottom, you set it equal to zero in this case. So. Uh, x cannot equal, uh, let's see, subtract 6. x can't be negative 6. All right, now the other thing is what uh, what value actually gives you 8? All right, so that's the other thing. With the, the first one is restriction, so you got to work with this. And then the other thing is what value actually gives you 8 over here. So what, so what we do is we just change it out for an equal sign. This inequality symbol we change out for an equal sign. So uh, we'll multiply both sides by x plus 6. That would cancel. And you'd be left with see, distributing 8. So 7 equals 8x plus 48. We'll subtract a 48. And uh, that would cancel. 7 minus 48 is a negative 41. And then we divide by 8. So x is a negative 41 over 8. Um, if you want to do that as a decimal, I think it's 5.125. Let's see. Uh, 41 divided by 8. Yeah, 5.125. So um, if you want to use this as a decimal, that's all right. Might be a little bit easier to think of. Okay, so there's the two ideas. Um, and what, what you can do now is you take those two values and you split the number line up into intervals using those two values. So if you use the, in, the number line, you think of the number line here. So here's negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1. Zero. Okay, so we're going to use those values of negative six and negative five point one two five. Be right in there, and we've got three distinct intervals here. We've got this interval, that interval there would be negative infinity to negative six, and let's see, we've got uh, this interval right in here. That would be negative 6 to negative 5.125. Or you could say negative 41 eighths. I don't know which one you want to. I'll, I'll just do the decimal here. And then you've got um, this other interval from that number on out this way. So we're using these two numbers, right, to cut up the number line. That interval will be negative 5.125 to infinity. Okay, now, you see where uh, that was a less than or equal to's and equal to's? So, this says cannot equal negative 6. So, you automatically put a parenthesis around negative 6. But now, this says x equals, so we're going to use square brackets around that value. That's horrible. And you always put a parenthesis around negative infinity. So let me clean that up a little bit. Our intervals are from negative infinity to negative 6, parentheses, 
parentheses negative 6 to negative 5.125 square bracket. Let me change that to a square bracket. And I'm using a square bracket because it says equals equals 8. When you plug negative 5.125 in for x, you get 8. That's why I'm using a square bracket. So, but what I'm saying is, if I plug a negative 5.125 in here for x, and then I calculate this, this side turns into an 8. So 8 equals 8. All right, so that's what we're, we're looking for. And then negative 5.125 to infinity. And you always put a parenthesis around there. Now, pick a number out of each interval, plug it back into the original inequality that we had up here in the top corner, and see if they work. So I'm just going to pick test points here. So I'm going to test a point here. I'm going to pick a number out of this, this number line, like negative 7. Right? Negative 7 is over here in yellow. So if I plug in negative 7, It's 7 over negative 7 plus 6, less than or equal to 8. Is that true? Is negative 7 less than 8? Yeah, sure it is. All right. So every number you pick out of this interval will work in that inequality. So this interval is part of our answer. So pick a number out of this interval. That's going to be this little red interval here. So what about negative 5.5? Be right there. So let's try negative 5.5. So 7 over negative 5.5 plus 6 less than or equal to 8. Is that true? Well, that would be 7 over 0.5, right? Negative 5.5 plus 6. Well, 7 divided by a half is 14. That's not true. So this interval, any number you pick in this interval, when you plug it into the inequality, will not work. If one of them doesn't work, they all won't work. If one of them does work, then they all work. So we do not use that in our answer. Let's try a number out here. I mean, it can be anything out here in this, this blue interval is what I'm talking about, right? So why don't we use 0? 0 is real easy to use. So 7 over 0 plus 6 less than or equal to 8. 7 over 6. Well, that's true. That fraction is less than 8. Cool. So everything I pick in this interval will work. So the answer to this question, the answer to this inequality, is this interval and this interval. And we're just going to put them together with what we call a union. So our, our final answer would be negative infinity to, uh, what do we say, negative 6? Yep, negative 6 parentheses, union, square bracket, negative 5.125, comma, infinity.